Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, 79 degree air temperature. Dew point is at uh, 65, which is a little bit lower. So it feels a little more crisp. I guess we can use that word crisp outside right now. Uh, we have a lot of sunshine going on and an east wind coming in at about 10. I think that lower dew point air will be with us throughout the day today. We started off a little bit cooler and as winds begin to shift around to the north a little bit, some of this uh, slightly ever so slightly cooler and drier air will tend to filter down into our region. 82 degrees Fort Myers, 80 Orlando, 80 in Tampa, 81 in Melbourne to the north. A few degrees cooler Gainesville at 76. Daytona at 77. Across our region, we're looking at temperatures that are generally pretty close to the 80 degree mark and locally in your neighborhoods, they're generally you know, about the same in specific areas. We're having a little bit warmer temperatures in inland locations, but along the coastline, 79, 80 degrees, just about does it everywhere. So Titan radar not showing a drop of rain across the state. And you know what? I don't think we're going to see any here locally today. We might might get an isolated shower along the coastline and then down around the Florida Straits through the Florida Keys. But other than that, I think we certainly do stay dry here today and probably for the next few days, despite the fact that we have a cold front that's approaching the cold front triggering off a few scattered showers through the Ohio Valley right now that Line of showers will tend to kind of fall apart, though, as it approaches our area. Drier air filtering down from the north, plus high pressure kind of bridging over this very weak front will pretty much allow it to move through here Friday and kind of uh, kind of very quiet and unannounced. You won't even notice it really, except that it will reinforce the slightly drier air that's filtering south. So mostly sunny skies, a warm afternoon. And then that very, very slight humidity drop, which you will probably notice over the weekend. One thing to tell you is that that frontal boundary will not contain any cooler air. If you notice these cloud patterns, they tend to move in a pretty much west to east direction. There's not a lot of southward plunge. You need that southward plunge to get the cold air across the continental United States. It's locked up in Canada. You need a southward plunge. Well, that may be coming next week. If you put this GFS computer model into motion and take it through next week, you'll see that blue and uh, violet colors of much cooler air sinking south along the eastern seaboard. Situation setting up where the west will be warm, and the east will be cold, significantly colder. And some of that colder air will probably plunge southward and tag the state of Florida. And this will occur probably not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. So it should be some slightly cooler seasonable air coming our way in about eight to 10 days. We'll wait and see how that plays out. Forecast for us today calls for that northeast wind at about 10 knots, making for very nice boating weather, light chop, less than two foot seas, a lot of sunshine out there. Daytime high temperature tops out about where it did yesterday, but maybe slightly drier. And then over the weekend, that drier weather continues, slightly cooler temperatures. And then as we head into next work week, I bet you Monday and Tuesday, we'll start to see the winds bring in a little bit more moisture. We have a slight chance of that Wednesday shower with the next front that comes through. And then as we uh, move into the next several days and extend this seven day forecast into Thursday and Friday, we'll show you some colder air coming our way.